Hello, uh, this is Steve, and um, I'm here to talk to you about the wine cellar that we have here in Rancho Santa Fe. So the customer uh, called us because she couldn't get her breezer unit to continue to work. She went for three years on two different units. So the challenges was that she never had a vapor barrier, didn't have the insulation that you need. So this, this was built incorrectly. This wine cellar was built incorrectly. You can see up top here, it's already gathering some some mold up at the top here and we don't know what's exactly inside the walls but it's already starting to get some mold and this is a very short amount of time so we'll, what we're doing today is the demo part of it we're going to be removing all of the racking um, we're going to be demoing down the walls um, we're going to be running the line set and building the electrical so we can get the room um, to be optimal so we can put the new wine racks in uh, for Wine Cellar Designers Group. Uh, last time they were using a self-contained unit from Breeze Air, having a lot of challenges with it. Now we're gonna be doing a ceiling mount, split system unit that will go up into the ceiling and just you'll only see a grill instead of seeing an unsightly unit sticking outside of your front yard and your backyard. Racking system, we're gonna be using some alder wine racks with gray stain and some pegs, some black pegs to go along with everything. This is Stephen Rachel from Wine Cellar Designers Group. We're here in the affluent neighborhood of Rancho Santa Fe in uh, San Diego, California. Uh, we're here in a beautiful Spanish home. This is a very interesting one. It's because the customer actually called me and said, I already have a wine cellar, but I'm having problems with my cooling unit. And I mentioned to her, there's not a problem with your cooling unit. It's not the cooling unit problem. You have a problem with your walls. You have a problem with your insulation, your vapor barrier. And what we had to do is completely demo it down, back down to its studs, and build the uh, build the room back up. So why don't you why don't take a look? So what we did is we provided them a new, a new door. The best thing about the door is the insulation is, is a LVL core laminated veneer lumber door. Um, thick, it's a three quarter thick door. It's got an automatic door bottom that seals at the bottom. To be able to keep that, that air in. Um, the customer came up with this really cool design of a round door, round uh, glass. And we'll let you in. So in here, right up in here is where a lot of the mold was. But the room just wasn't holding its, it wasn't staying cool. So no matter what temperature it was, outside or inside, it couldn't stay cool. So what we did here is we have alder wood with a custom stain that they wanted. What we did is we routered out the back of the panels and put our LED lights. And this is a pegs from Wine Cellar Designers Group. We make our own pegs. And this is a triple deep black satin peg. And then what we did down here as well is we have um, the same custom wood around with a custom arch that we did, puck lights. And so they had a self-contained unit, which is one unit that goes inside and then it goes to the outside, exhaust to the outside. That's not the best unit for this space. One, it's aesthetically, you don't want to see that. And we ran a whisper cool ceiling mount up on top which is a split system unit, which runs, the condensing unit is right up behind this wall, and the ceiling unit is right up on, on top. About 30% of the um, our business is going to customers who come to us and say, I'm having problems with my cooling unit, or I see mold, or I don't have any insulation, or something was built incorrectly, and we come in and help customers with that, with that specific spot. This is exactly it. Their room was not built correctly, they didn't have insulation, they didn't have a vapor barrier. Somebody just put a self-contained unit through this wall to the outside and the air was just going in and right outside again. Couldn't maintain the temperature, couldn't maintain uh, the humidity. So this was built with the, by the builder that built the house? The builder that built the house. But the, what you're saying is they're just not a specialist they're in They're not specialists in it. So, so you would think a builder that knows how to build a house would be able to build a room like this? You would think so, but that's why builders do come to Wine Cellar Designers Group to build their wine cellar because this is all we do. This is what we specialize in to understand the mold, the temperature, humidity. Why do they get it so wrong then? I think it's just laziness. I think they assume it should be done a certain way or these wall, the drywall will be enough or the insulation they're using behind there, the fiberglass pink 
stuff is going to be enough, but it's never enough. You have to have a certain amount of R value in the walls to be able to have it maintained. As you can feel inside here, it's cool and you have the perfect humidity, the perfect temperature. That's how it's supposed to be year round. And the way they were doing it was it was just constantly, you put a cooling unit, a self-contained unit in here, it ran all day long every day and would go out every single year and she just would be, put another one in. She thought that was the right thing to do when it's actually not. It was, it was about building the right cellar. This is a Spanish home. Uh, it's on about uh, seven acres of land out here. In, uh, so this is a high-end home? Very high-end home. What, what kind of price band would you guess it's in? I think it's in the seven to ten million dollar range home. Wow. And you can and still it was see... Still, and the builder that is building that level of house still got the wine cellar wrong. Yes. You just wouldn't think that was the case. Exactly. 